Everybody, welcome back. Northern Lion plays chess. Not on Twitch. I'm not on Twitch. Look at this. I, I can break out of the box. I'm free. It's for YouTube only. Exclusive. Okay? Now, two very fun videos in a row, in my opinion, where we really demonstrated a good intuition, if I may pump my own tires a little bit. We demonstrated a good intuition for when to sacrifice a little material in order to create a superior position. Lots of times we were down a pawn, even like down a, a rook versus a knight or something like that. But the computer evaluated our position at plus 5, plus 10, plus 70, and then squandering it. One of the reasons I think we squander these positions, I hate to admit it, but I think chat's right. Um, I think we have bad time control. I just think we don't have good time control. And I think that the best way for us to get up to snuff with that and get in the habit of playing a little bit faster is to play a little bit of blitz, okay? Now, like, five minutes as well is good. Three minutes, I think, is a good medium. Because, like, five minutes is... You could still take... I, I could take two minutes of move and feel like I didn't screw myself, whereas in, in three minutes, I think that's not uh, plausible. Bullet, you don't even think about the moves at all. I find it fun, for sure, but I, I don't see it as, like... Um, it's not reinforcing good chess habits, Neither is three minutes probably, but the best chess habit for me right now is probably just to um, at least uh, not constantly flag <laughs> is my take. So I'm going to play the advanced variation of, of, the, um, of the French defense. I'm going to be honest. I don't know if this is how it's supposed to go. Um, we, we can't move our bishop now for fear of uh, uh, danger, danger, high voltage. Yeah, I, I don't really know where we go from here. But you know what? Let's get real funky with things. Let's let's push to A4 so we can still reinforce our bishop on B5. Um, of course, there is a... I love it. Thank you. I think that that... I was really worried about them pushing to A6. So I feel like our push to B5 is very sensible. And if they... I, I don't really want to take. I'm, I'm happy leaving things as they stand right now. Um, we'll castle, and we like the, it's going to be so hard for them to get this bishop out. I think that's that's the meat of this. Like, yeah, and now that they can't get the bishop out, like, I mean, I, I still don't really know how they're gonna do it. <laughs> but I, don't, I also don't know what I'm doing right now. Um, I think at some point we're gonna want to push. You know what? This I don't know if this is sensible, but let's do it. If you want to capture this knight, by all means. I think they're they're looking for something like this, and I don't have the reinforcements there. Um, if if you want the open file, why don't you go ahead and take the open file? I've decided I can live with this. Maybe you want to trade your bishop for my knight. I, I think I'm okay with that as well. I mean, this is very strange now. But that's kind of what I'm hoping for. And we're right there on time, right? Like, we're we're right there on time. Um, of course, we're a little concerned about this. Um, do we have to be? I, I don't really think so. Like, if you want to take there, I think we can get some meat out of this. In fact, in fact I think I, if you do things wrong, I think I can checkmate you. We're going to start with this. Uh, but then they're probably... If I do that, they're probably going to play rook to here. How are we going to respond to that? We, we don't have a great response. I think we're going to do this. So we have a threat on this pawn. And if he wants to, if he wants to take, go ahead. We got plays, man. It might not... Oh, we got to be careful about this spot. <laughs> Just the, uh, wait a minute. What? I got checkmated. All right. Honestly, fair play. I literally was tunnel visioning exclusively on this side of the board. Wasn't paying attention to this at all. Well done, Van Persie. Again, good chess. I don't want to say good chess is secondary. Good chess is what it's all about. They did. They liked us right about here. Um, good chess. Oh, my God. 27% accuracy versus 97 um, it's one of those things where I'm like, uh, I, I think we kind of lost a little bit in the opening, honestly. Um, but we, we, we did better with time control. So let's, you know, we don't want it to be exclusively a meme like Bullet. Everything here is booked so far, which is hilarious to me. They actually don't mind A4. Knight to A3 is fine as well. They love our position here. They said best move, best move. 
We're up by a pawn. They prefer the exchange. They do not like this. They want us to finally do the exchange. Let, let's see why. We do the exchange. Like, I, I have a bad habit in chess for sure. I just moved us back a move. If, if an exchange is offered, I will only evaluate it at the time that it's offered. And it takes a lot for me to go back and look at it later, even as things change. So, you know, it might not have been the right thing in the first place for us to take, but maybe now it is. Maybe you do that following this? No. Because we'll probably, there, there must be some play here where we destroy you. I don't know what it is, but let's see. Okay, are you, are you just trapped? Oh, well. I mean, it's, it's a slightly complicated line. We do end up getting a piece out of it, though. And the superior position. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I didn't think about the fact that you'd be so constricted in there. But anyway. Instead, I did that. You did that. I did this. They're like, that's just nonsensical. Um, what you should have done instead is g4, which I'll admit, I thought about, but in my head I was like, it exposes our king a little bit too much. Ironically, we ended up getting made in one. <laughs> Not that this would have stopped it, but maybe less, uh, I was worried about protecting the king at the wrong time. Okay. But we did this. Bad. Good. Acceptable, at least. Acceptable. They're like, that's fine. Go ahead. They still, they actually, they think black is up by like three right now. They do have a two-piece advantage, materially speaking. Oh man, that was like such a good bait. Such a good bait. Okay, you got me. You got me. As much as I, this is about time controls and getting into the habit of moving a little bit faster, I certainly don't want to uh, find myself in a position. Oh, the exchange variation of the Karo Khan. <laughs> How about that? I don't want to find myself in a position where I start to play like garbage, you know, just as a joke. Um, you know, I, I, the most important thing is making good moves. This is such a weird setup here. Um, I'm, I'm content to let you take this. If you want to take here and give me the open file on this pawn, I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay with it. Let's see how you want to advance this from... Oh, what if you take here? No, then I take here. Okay. But then you... Fork me. <laughs> okay, you take that. Now, I know you're like, why don't you just take it? It's because we get forked right here. But what if instead of that, we do this? We still get forked. Um... Okay, check this out, dude. Check this out. You ready for this? We don't have a ton of time. That's a given. Our queen is already under attack. Let's put him in check first. This is just to make him puzzle the line out. Um, he's puzzled the line out just fine. I, we are in a horrible position. A truly terrible position of my own creation. This had to happen, essentially. Oh my god, I'm just gonna like I'm just gonna lose. I resign. Goodbye. Goodbye. You've defeated me, Chevalier. I just wanna make sure I was correct to resign. That was an embarrassment. <laughs> Maybe got a little too weird with it. What? Oh, no. First off, 93% accuracy, but then they blew it? They blew it? How? I thought it was like take. Then, oh, queen takes d5. I'm bad. I was still, what? no, but then like, oh, because then like no matter what you do to threaten the check, we just take your, okay. All right, all right. So that one, not my finest moment. Three minutes, you know, it's an adjustment period. We're still working on it. We're still working. First chess of the day. First chess of the day. Tend to still like uh, the early bishop play so that we can get pawn to c5. Like, I feel like pawn to c5 is extremely important for the way that I play this, uh, this game. Um, 
I feel like if you take here, we kind of like blow you out somehow, right? Isn't there like a blowout incoming? Honestly, check this out, okay? I'm, I'm going to give you one of these. If you want to swap and open my rook up on this file, then, then I appreciate you. Now, I know this is where I said maybe we've gotten a little too weird with it lately. Yeah, yeah, send it, dude. Okay. That is actually like a really good check, but hold on. We, we have to take. Temporarily. Do we have to take? I don't know. How did I find myself in this cursed position again so soon? I don't know. But now that the bishop is free, we can get a check in on this, which is extremely important to me. No, that's very bad. I resign rather than let you take me. I resign. And I, I decide we'll think about that game later. It's the new monitor, dude. Okay, we're, oh, dude, we're playing someone who's playing the Engeland Gambit. Isn't this like, this is like a chess meme gambit or something? I mean, like, we, we did just get a free piece. Oh my god, and then you get my queen. Where do these people come from, dude? Where do these people come from? I, I've, I mean, I, I've acted like I knew what the Engeland Gambit was. Um... But in reality, I kind of don't, to be honest with you. I, I've just heard about it. I've, I've heard tell of it um, in, in whispers. Okay, look, I, this is not the way you should probably play this. I was actually, it's funny, I was talking about this to Rob last night. I was like, we were talking about chess, and I said, Rob, you'll laugh, but I actually feel like the average, um, like 1300, knows 10 times more theory um, than the average, like, uh, 1,500. And I actually firmly believe it. I feel like... experience, like, way more people in that, like, 1,300 range who have clearly read some books or watched some movies. On 1,500, it seems like there's a lot of people who are kind of like, you know what? I just kind of wing it. <laughs> and if it works, it works. I'm a little concerned about a couple of things here, but I actually don't think we have like an inferior position. <clears throat> How do you want to play this? I've decided to, to do some danger levels. Levy style. You've decided to take, I will take. Maybe you put me in check here? I don't know. To be honest with you, I think I'm, I'm kind of happy to have my king out here. Obviously, you, you got some danger to be done there yourself as well. Now, I'm a little concerned. I know you're like, why would you be? I'm a little concerned that... We, how are we going to get this knight out of here, right? Um, but let's do it anyway, because we're trying to work on our time control. You could spend a long time trying to find the perfect move. I, I'll be the first to inform you. I don't really think I'm playing the strongest chess of my career on, in this episode. But I think that's also partially to be expected. Um, we can't go here because of the knight. Um, I think it's kind of partially to be expected uh, when you're, you know, trying to, let's not call it like learn a new time control, but you, you get the idea. I think we'd like to fall back to reinforce this down here. Okay, sure. I mean, I, I, I would say that my opponent's uh, pawn structure is, is probably stronger than mine. Pretty much without a doubt, but... Don't feel too bad about the, the way things are going here. Definitely just want this. What are you going to do? What are you going to do to make my dreams come true? Okay, okay. I see. So he, he wants this right here. So what do we do for that? 
we do this. And if you push the pawn, we'll still get it. Maybe not right away. But it will be ours. Oh, yes. It will be ours. I do like... Hold on. There, there's plays here. Push it, push it, push it. The push, he's like, I got to pass pawn. This is, this is genius level. He decided it's not genius level. Okay. That's a huge move for us. Now the bishop can get out and attack this down here. We are 30 seconds down on time. Not amazing. We now have the bishop protecting this as well. You love to see it, right? Um, how do you protect this pawn? It's hard to do. It's hard to do. Hmm. I might be biased. I don't see how you punish me for this. So we move back. And then, I mean, you still can't take that. So we start pushing this bad boy. You, you can't take it because we got double protection. 33 seconds left. Probably not going to be making perfect moves here. But that's okay. This is a scary structure. Don't get me wrong. Um, but I don't see how he's going to get this pawn to the end past this pawn before I can do some damage here. Have we finally done it? Are we, are we about to win against somebody that's like, you know, 200 rating points below? I mean, I should not use this terminology, but below where I feel like I should be. <laughs> All right. I mean, he has to make a move with a knight here or he loses it to a fork and then loses the game. Case in point. 16 seconds. We will not lose this game. I promise you, we will not lose this game. It's a very simple ladder mate setup, although I think I'm, I'm kind of botching it. Okay, hold on. We're not going to stalemate him, okay? I just got to get into the right position for the ladder mate. Just give it a sec. It's not Rome wasn't built in a day, man. Pre-moves are off as well because I'm a coward. I told you I wouldn't mess it up. Also, not a ladder. Not a ladder, now that I think about it. <laughs> just, just the default, like, one rook checkmate. Not a good game, necessarily, but I feel like we at least regained a little confidence. And when it, when it mattered, we moved fast, okay? So what's, what's the beauty of this game? I mean, we were down, like, by a lot, but we really, we, we put it together in the end game here. Definitely guilty of analyzing way more during a win. Okay, here's the thing. Advance, not a good move. And, and it's not a good move for the very reasons we saw. Black has a, a mild advantage that actually should be greater. I can't believe we never lost this pawn. Like, that's just... The fact that that pawn lived is why our opponent lost, I think. And it, things are pretty standard here. I apologize for zipping through the analysis, but, like, there wasn't that much action going on here. You know, the position is about a pawn different. Oh, what, what did they want here instead of this? They're like... And it's probably sensible, but they're like, just give up the pawn, dummy. Just give up the pawn. Oh, or alternatively... Threaten this. Kind of interesting, at least. What do they do after that? They take. And then now we're in the end game because I clicked too slow, too fast. I don't know. They take. We take. Take. We're going to take, obviously. Now, I guess we... But then they're going to take here, right? Like, with the, with the knight? No. I guess because we would destroy all these pawns in the process. Fair enough, I guess. It's fair enough. Um, that's how it could have gone. <laughs> Instead, we fell back. They still prefer Black's position, but then this is like the throwaway. And then they're like, what are you doing? Now you threw away the throwaway. Good trade, good trade. Still like Black's position here. Um, still like Black's position for the record. But I think this is where we're going to start to... Nope. <laughs> 
Oh, that's true. If we had done this, we would have kept the knight uh, hemmed in. Well, no, I guess it could have gone here, but it would have certainly slowed it down. I, I also did not like that trade from them. I felt like that bishop was too strong to just give up. We're in a statistical draw. Where does it? Where does the draw fade? I honestly think their fatal move here was also trading the bishop for my knight. Like, I, I thought that move was... I despaired when they did that. I, like, I was like, what are you doing? Not that I'm like some kind of super genius. I mean, I'm still <laughs> looking at the number of mistakes made in the end game here. But this is now like, it's, it's pretty close to just like, you know, you can't be stopped, right? Anyway, like, again, it's not about time or it's not about good chess necessarily. It's about time controls. I take this almost as like a reset episode where we learn to move fast. Let's do the cluster bar gambit, okay? I respect the cluster bar gambit. I set my watch to that. Oh no. <laughs> like here we go again. You know what? That that's cowardice, but I have chosen not to let myself fall victim uh to the same to the same foible we faced earlier. I, I wasted a tempo to move my bishop back because we we really did end up in like a nightmare scenario um, before. I leave this I leave this up to you, sir. How do you want to play this? You want to you want to trade the bishop for the knight? Then you move this in. You want to trade the knight for the bishop? I don't mind having this open file here, especially if. He castles, like, kingside. I, I really... Okay, so, like, I get it. Like, I get it. You're, like, a cool guy or whatever. But, like... Oh, dude, we should have just done that. That would have been a sick move. I don't really know what you're doing. And that's, that's dangerous for me, for sure. Um, why don't you decide how you're going to live your life here? I don't mind a little pawn push. Really? You know what? This is interesting. They take here. They they have the open file now. That is that is mighty interesting. No doubt about it. And now that I think about it, I'm like, I think I just... I think I blew it, man. We go king up. So that when they play queen here, we can do rook over. I think we got lucky there. Set them back, like, tempo-wise. I think we can put our own thread on this. No, they'll just take. Um, it's still fine. I think, if anything, we should try to... You gotta make a move a little faster. I think everybody knows that. You gotta make a move a little faster. We're gonna fall back slightly. We're gonna fall back slightly. We're down 30 seconds. Not good for the record. Not good. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Now we're going to push this a little. I got a whole... I got a mess of ideas here, man. We've now got what I would consider like a pretty decent attack. Let's see. I think time is on our side now. And you know, it, it, in 10 minutes, it's not about going with the first good move that comes into your head. But there's probably a certain level of, like, the faster you can move, the happier you're going to be. Like, if he takes here, we get a free discovered check, which is beautiful. So, like, he, he really can't take there anymore. So, we'll just do this check instead. And then, honestly... <clears throat> do this. Keep him running. He's going to go here. Am I scared? Yeah, a little. We Time is not as on our side as I thought it would be. Was this terrible? 
Not necessarily, right? I feel like we definitely have like a better attack. I just need to actually find it. I think it's going to be forcing a queen sack here. Because th this is mate if he doesn't trade. We can also do this first. This is a really good move. This is a really good move. Queen for two rooks. Yeah, do it. Because this is still mate. Oh, baby. <laughs> okay. Things got a little close to the edge on that one. But I'll still take it. All right. I think this was a good exercise in moving a little faster. I'm like, I'm pleased with myself. But I promise you, it's only slight. It's only some slight level of please. So let's figure this one out in the analysis and move on. A wild game. I think that goes without saying. They did not take the cloister bar gambit. I, I'm being a little aggressive with our bishop here, I think is what I'm learning. But they still think the position is was like a dead heat. They do not like that. Missed win! Dude, this is why I keep getting myself sucked into these same situations. Okay, knight takes d5. Can't take. Basically, we just lose the piece or we lose our queen. Like, those are the only two options. Okay, dude, I did not see that at all. I'm feeling pretty bad about my my skill in <laughs> in chess right now. Here they they like our position. They're like, you're doing a great job, man. You're doing a great job. We pushed them out a little bit. We took. They still like it. They're like, dude. You always love when a when a gong cloud is uh, your your best move. They're like, great great stuff. Great stuff. Bad stuff. I agree. Bad stuff. Bad stuff. Terrible stuff. Great stuff. Good stuff. Okay, I mean, it's... <laughs> it was a wild one. We're, we're just... We're both feeding missed wins. Like, where, what's his missed win, okay? He does that. That's a missed win? I guess we don't have it doubled on the file yet. Yeah, it creates a difficult situation for us. We still probably... I wonder how we reply. With the take? Oh! Okay. Yeah. I don't know if they would have found that in uh, in three minutes, but, you know, it's possible. Sorry, we, we didn't go back far enough. There you go. Slip back in. All right. Missed win. Then our missed win. They can't stop made in one? I was going to say, can't they just, like, perma-check me? No. Oh, now they have a... I see. Yeah, they have a cover on this pawn, so it's not made in one. They're forced to swap to avoid the mate. And then, you know, we just grind out this material advantage, basically. Um, anyway. That's how it could have gone. Instead, I think we got super lucky. They made the best move one move too late, and we won on a, a slightly cheeky checkmate. Anyway... You know what? I'm feeling primed to move fast. I had a good time. I hope you did it as well. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. We'll get into some slightly longer time controls in the next one. But I I'm sick of being so down on time. Hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you next time. See ya!